Hi, Jeanette Riles here. Thanks for joining me for Beginner Basic Techniques with a weighted hula hoop. Before we get started, I want to make sure that you've checked with your physician to make sure this is an activity that's good for you. The next thing I want to make sure that you have is nice fitted clothing. I make sure that my shirt's always tucked in so it stays down, otherwise sometimes our shirts will ride up on our body. So I make sure I wear extra tight clothing. Make sure you're comfortable in what you're wearing. The next thing we want to do is make that promise to ourselves that we're going to allow ourselves to be a beginner. Because when you first start out, if you're anything like me, the hoop spends more time on the floor than it does up around your waist. That's okay. We're all beginners. We're here to learn and have fun. So first, let's grab your hoop. Now mine is a padded and it's a weighted water hula hoop. So it's very soft. If you have a hard hula hoop, it's okay. Same technique. All right, we're gonna start just holding the hula hoop and I want you to take a look at my feet. I spin the hoop clockwise or to the right so I make sure that my left foot is front. My back foot is about six to eight inches behind that and that's gonna be my natural stance for hula hooping to start, okay? All we're gonna do is just a small rocking movement back and forth. Okay, now I'm exaggerating it now but if you can do this, you can work out with a hula hoop, okay? So if you're going to spin the other way or counterclockwise, all you would do is put that right foot front, left foot just behind, narrow stance, and rock it back and forth, okay? If we're going to go to the front, you can stand in a split stance here, straddle, and you're going to rock toes to heels, okay? Now again, I am showing this way over exaggerated. All it's going to be is back and front. So here's a foot view of the basic technique. You're rocking and rolling toes to heels. Okay, so you can, once you get going, you can actually change it, but really to first learn, it's gonna be toes to heels. That front stance that I showed you is just a small straddle, toes to heels, okay? And a side view of that is toes to heels. Now, if you're spinning counterclockwise, that right foot would go forward. And again, it's just a rocking forward and backwards. So if you can do this, you'll be ready. Okay? So you've got the basic move. Let's get wild and crazy. Jump in your hoop. All right, I'm using a weighted padded hula hoop. So. Mine's nice and soft, but it weighs about three and a half to four pounds, okay? So I make sure that water, or if you're using a regular weighted hula hoop, just make sure the weight is down. The back of the hoop is right on the small low back, okay? Nice and comfy. Now, I give an over-exaggerated throw just so you can see what I'm doing, but I actually give it a big toss and I catch it with that front hip, okay? So you see that nice rocking motion that's all it is so if you want to slow it down you slow the rock down if you want to speed it up you speed the rock up the last part in the formula for a basic hula hoop technique is to make sure that you're standing upright our shoulders are stacked right over our hips and we stand back i'll use the reference of standing back in your hoop okay we're gonna pull those abs into this action by moving our arms forward and back. So every single time that hoop comes to the front, I pull and push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. All right, so I'll show you from the front. Again, we're just rocking on those feet front to back. So remember I said there's like a learning curve. It's all timing. So once you've got that timing down, you'll be able to move all over the floor. I'll show you the other side. And then just a basic back view so you can see it's actually a front to back movement. Now, if you're beginning and you started like me, this hoop doesn't stay up like this at the beginning. It actually starts to fall. So you have to be able to get under it and push it back up. We call that a drop and pop, okay? So let that hoop go, pop down and catch it with that hip and make it go back up, all right? Give it a try. It's not that difficult. Like I said, it's all timing. 
So once you have this down, you'll be able to kind of move around with your hoop. You'll be able to do great binds. You'll be able to do leg kicks, side kicks, lift your knees, and put some great choreography together. So thanks for joining me today on basic techniques with a weighted water hula hoop. Come back for more fun and I'll see you in the next video.